What's up guys, Crispy Bond here, welcome back to another episode, another video. Uh, this got released like a few minutes ago, I think. I don't know how, how long I could tell. It's been released a few minutes ago, it says Final Boss Bond, um, Heart, Elaine coming soon. We're gonna watch this real quick. I'm just gonna play it through. Love and Seven Deadly Sins. I gotta center that. Also, hold on. It says the one festival continues. This should have been the one. I don't know why they made it bond, but let's continue through it. Lovers with de a death connect. Oh, okay. Here's the first thing right here. Valenti, Summer Valenti um, is coming soon. Uh, coming this update looks like, but no Easton as of now. We don't see anything of Easton coming th through here. All right, well that happened. Um, so with that, so Final Boss Bond came out with um, Summer, hold on. So she, he came out with, um, where are they, where are they, where are they, I look dumb. Somewhere around here, right here. Valenti and Easton Summer version came out with Final Boss Bond July 16th. Now it makes sense if Valenti only came out because you need her for Bond, you don't need Easton. Scope of Valenti um, inflicts the night damage equal to 100, 150, and 250. Um, inflicts damage equal to 180, 270, and 450. And prevents ultimate gauge from filling out for one turn, one turn, two turns. Ultimate same as regular Valenti Rupture. Our passive inflicts infect, infect effect for two turns on enemy who have used the buff skill. Excluding ultimate moves applies for entering the battle. Blah 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 blah. She's not good, really only good for final boss bond. So this unit on the other hand was really good on JP. But we never got her, so she her usefulness in Grand Cross Global just died completely before she even came out. She has a weak point card, uh, 120, 180, 300. Uh, this card's actually really good right here. Disable skills on all enemies for two turns. Disable discovery skills and prevents ultimate move from filling up for two turns. This one's the same things, but it's um just decreases attack by 20% for three turns. Same ultimate as you know, regular Easton. But her passives were really good. Increases all allies' pierce rate, crit damage, and crit chance by 5% per debuff on enemy. Limit 8 times applies by entering the battle. This is just like, um. This is any debuff, really. So that. It's kind of like Kings, not really like Kings, like Elaine's. Not really, though. But she's. She's like definitely coming out. I closed the link by accident. She's definitely coming out. She was showing the picture. She's your use of final boss bond, so she will definitely come out. Let me know what you guys think about this. Um, you know, subscribe, like my ch subscribe to my channel, like this video, and in the description down below, there's my Discord. Go join it. Everybody, peace out.